Last time, as we have seen a few basic things regarding data table JS, like how we can enable or disable global search and how we can enable and disable paginations. Okay. Now I am taking a further step ahead. Like today, we will learn how to make a particular column ascending or descending on load. Okay. For example, let's assume that you want this age to be ascending whenever someone loads the page by default. Okay. So and also like for example we can sort it as well but uh, if i just reload you will see uh, the age is like uh, not in ascending order okay so to make a particular uh, column in ascending so let's see how to do that okay we have already uh, make a code and uh, ready for you guys okay so if you see let uh, again let me tell you again how the basic things like we need this style sheet okay uh, we can get it from the website. We, we need this jQuery minjs and we need this data table minjs. These are the three basic things. Another thing like we need a table with an ID compulsory and then we need a table head like this. This tag is compulsory and table body. This tag is compulsory. Okay. Table foot, uh, T foot is table foot. That is optional. I have just taken. You can ignore that. Okay. And this table ID example here will go here. Okay. Table hash ID okay so uh, so as i'm saying that how to make one particular column ascending or descending if you see i have taken a parameter called order okay in that this is this parameter's index index means it starts from zero like zero one two three on the third number age is there okay what we are doing we are making this age ascending by default okay let me save this code and refresh it you see by default the age got sorted by ascending if i do that descending okay and i again refresh the page you will see it started in the descending manner okay now the same thing let's do with the name okay here the name is at index zero remember it always starts with zero zero one two three four five Salary is on fifth position, name is on zeroth position, age is on third position, zero, one, two, three. Okay. So now name, name is at zero position. If I do zero here and make it ascending and now refresh the page, you see it's, it's all sorted with A. Okay. Now the same thing if I do that uh, ascending to descending and refresh the page. Okay. Hope you understood this very well now the second thing what about if i don't want sorting okay i want to disable all the sorting from the table okay it's really simple it only has one particular let me this ascending it's only have one parameter which is called as ordering if you make it true then the ordering will be displayed if i make it false then if i refresh the page you see no sorting is enabled now all the sorting got disabled if I again make it true and if I refresh the page, you see the sorting has back. So you can sort each and every column. Okay. So there might be some situation where you want one particular column to get disabled by sorting. Okay, we can do that as well. Let me tell you that. For the for that, we need to write a bit a bit of more extra code. Okay, but it's not complex column definitions there is one extra parameter another parameters called column definition in that there are two options targets and orderable orderable means like as good as ordering true or false and target means the index see the column index like how many column index you want to make it disable or enable for the sorting okay for example here i have taken 0 1 2 0 1 2 means 0 name 1 position 2 office okay if i make like this and uh, make it false okay then just refresh the page you see the name no sorting position no sorting age no sort office no sorting but age is sortable because it's coming on third position started and get sortable salary is sortable but these three position are not sortable if i just wanted to uh, remove age from the filtering i just type here three the column index three and just all will be enabled for sorting except H. 
okay then let's see the name is sortable the position is sortable office is sortable but age is disabled for the sorting okay and start date end date salary and all those things are enabled so this is what we are this is what i was trying to tell you today and this is how the things happens so hope you understand everything how the ordering and how particular how to make a particular column ascending or descending and uh, how to enable or disable multiple columns for sorting okay let me know if you have any questions in the comment and in the next videos i will try to make some more enhancement uh, regarding data table js i will try to explain some more options how, how data table js works uh, today this is the only things that i would i would like to share thank you so much for watching this video thanks a lot bye bye